Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Tammy. And we are the co-creators of Rise Gatherings, Retreat Experiences for Women, and this is Rise TV. We are thrilled to welcome Sheldon Barlett Rumor. Yay! <laughs> and I'm so, so excited. I'm yes, so excited. executive producer yes. of This Is It TV. Yes. Yes. And yes. also, yes. we're so excited that Sheldon will be yes. joining us I at our 2020 weekend getaway. I love it. I'm so excited. And that leads us right into you, the workshop you're going yes, to be doing my friends. and yes. leading. Well, thank you is, for having me. Thank you for being here with ah, us. So much fun. The workshop you'll be leading yeah. at our 2020 weekend yeah. is Scream Your Dream. Yes. And I know yes. that is the tagline for This Is It TV. It and is. Also, I'm feeling yeah. for your life. <laughs> and we love it. This Scream Your Dream. Yeah. We just feel we've it. We've been saying it. Yeah. Ever oh. since meeting you, we've been oh, saying it. Please do. Please do. How did you come up with Scream Your Dream? So it's an interesting thing. So we were even talking a little bit earlier about, you know, who young Sheldon was, right? And so I've always been an extrovert. Always. Shocking. I'm not a shy person, right? You can hear me before you see me. It was always very much a scenario where I was extroverted and to the point where I wasn't aware that speaking loudly or prominently was a problem for anyone else. I just assumed that people were boastful, just like me. When I had started my uh, agency, IG Creative, in 2009, we were doing social media, graphic design, web design, and we were primarily doing it for women, women of small businesses. So I'm talking the cupcake lady, the t-shirt lady, the necklace lady, who was stringing, ba stringing beads in her basement for years. Mm -hmm. But when they would come and see me, when they would sit with me, they would whisper, I'm kind of doing that. They wouldn't even make eye contact with me. So it was brave mm, enough for so them interesting. right, to get in the car. They were brave enough for them to say, I'm going to do this. They were brave enough Invest to invest in myself and pay for this. But when I said, okay, tell me about your business. Well, I've been doing this thing and I'm not really quite sure. And tell me if you like it. This isn't really the one. Like already self-deprecating. Yep. Right, right. Apologizing. Apologize. They're coming to compensate me uh -huh. to help them take their business to the next level, could not make eye contact with me, could not raise the octave of their voice. For me, it was really, really important for people to no longer whisper their wishes, but in fact, scream their dream. And so I was gonna do anything <laughs> that I would have been in that. Stop whispering your wishes, you have and to in scream. fact, scream, scream your, your dream. dream. You have to, you have no choice. Scream your dream, you know, ultimately is a romantic thing, right? Like no longer whisper, scream, yes, it's awesome. But without intention, it's just yelling, mm. right? So there's a lot of people out there screaming, but saying nothing. Right? Yes. I want you to scream and I want you to be intentional. So that's really what it became. You know, where can I put your voice? How can I teach you how to hone in your voice? How can I teach you how to get other people to listen to your voice? And more importantly, how can I get you comfortable hearing your own voice? Which I think was really, Oof, really difficult for one. people, right? You get know, you comfortable hearing your yeah. own voice. Yes. Because we often don't like to listen even to our own recorded voice. I mean, right, even for me. And we're the most critical with ourselves. So much. And so this is, again, sitting at this table, sitting about to do a transaction with this person. And they were not comfortable sharing the features and benefits of what it is that they were doing. And I literally would say to the majority of them, if you cannot tell me why you should buy this, then why should anyone purchase your product or service? I truly believe that it is a, a selfish thing that is a beautifully selfish thing. So when I say selfish, I'm not it's saying not a bad word. in a negative way. No. I'm saying it's a beautifully selfish thing to share your gift. And the only way to do it and the only way to be heard is to say it out loud. I think a lot of us assume that people out there know how hard you're working, right? Because you're schlepping around and you're not at the party and you're not at, right? Uh -huh. Writing but the they, emails but they don't and know. you're working on the website. Right. And, uh -huh. They don't understand the behind the scenes. Yeah. They don't see the hours of time it took you to learn so how to decorate. you're saying to own that. Own it. Own A hundred percent. I'm an entrepreneur. Lack of the screaming comes from the fact that women in particular, I see you and I hear you, women in particular, think that sharing their accomplishments is a nasty world called bragging. And in the word of bragging, you know, it, it's some shame associated with sharing your gifts, sharing your pedigree, the amount of experience in which you've had. I'm like, it's not bragging, 
it's sharing, and it's not just sharing, it's screaming. And that's yes. for me, is acknowledging where you have been, acknowledging what you have done, and being proud enough and selfish enough to say, I wanna share what I've created with as many people as possible. Yes. The resume of life. Own it and brag about it. Absolutely. Because when we do that, yeah. we give other women and other people 100%. the permission to also own themselves, 100%. scream their dream, and brag about 100%. their accomplishments and achievements and that they've worked hard yes. for who they are and what they want Absolutely. and what they're creating. Absolutely. And people are watching. And I think that people don't really recognize that as well. I mean, I think that they're like, oh, maybe I don't have enough likes or I don't have enough comments. But even without the likes and without the they can see you. Yes. They can see you. And that's a powerful thing. And so let people see your accomplishments. Share them unapologetically. Find your scream. Find your voice and then by writing them down. And That's something that I've learned in our business. Because yeah. when you say about worrying about the likes yeah. or the yes. this, when you're worrying about yeah. you know what other people think of you, yeah. wanting to be liked, ways we've been raised, yeah, and to say I'm going to do it, I'm going to put yeah. it out there, and then I'm going to let it go, and then I'm going to let it go. Because the majority of us don't need millions of people to like us in order to change our personal, professional, or economic space. I think that that's the scenario. And the screaming is like, oh, you know, I don't. I'm, it's not ready. Yes. So I hear that yeah. all the time. Share it, right? It's not lot. ready. It's not perfect. If you had five friends, even in the social space, and two of those people bought something. Yep. Or were that, touched by you. Or if or your message right. changed the trajectory of their day or how they think of themselves 100%. or a situation, 100%. that's impact. That's huge. And That's I huge. feel like people relate to the process. They understand. They, they appreciate understand. the they process. They appreciate the process. Yes. Right. And I think even Rather more so. Rather than just yeah. being, being ready of a finished product. Right. Yeah, yeah it's the process. Because there's no such thing as overnight success. And yes. I think that, you know, I think it's good that in the reality of it, that people understand that and that people see see the process. But yeah, for me, it would just really be writing things down and keeping a resume of your life so you can really check in on yourself as to why you deserve to scream. That's and with that, thank you, Cheldon, for being here with so us. Much. Of course. Please tell the viewers how they can uh, find you and work with you. I love. Okay, so please follow Fan and Like. Everything we've got going on at This Is It TV, or you can follow Fan and Like me personally at Cheldon Barlett. And you can find her at Rise Gatherings Weekend Getaway, May 29th to 31st, 2020, where she will be leading Scream Your Dream to our workshop. Can't wait. I love it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.